All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question. In today's video, and we have the square root of x plus the square root of minus x is equal to 4, and we need to solve this equation for x. So the main strategy that we have in these kind of questions, uh, we're going to do the square root on each side of the equation in order to get rid of the square root. And on the left side, we basically have a plus b and if we want to do the square from our algebra formula we know we have the a plus b squared which will be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so we're going to use that in here so we're going to do the power of 2 on each side from the first one we'll have x plus 2ab plus uh, what we have for square root of minus x uh, which will be plus minus x which is minus x is equal to 4 squared which is 16. So the x can be cancelled out in this one and what we have here we have square root of a times the square root square root of b which will be square root of a b so we'll have two basically square root of x times minus x which will be minus x squared is equal to 16 and here we can divide our equation by 2 so we'll get minus x squared is equal to 16 divided by 2 which is 8 so obviously here we are seeing we know x squared is equal or greater than 0 meaning what we have uh, under the square root is a negative sign and we're gonna have complex answers in here since we have a negative number under the square root so keeping that in mind we're gonna do another squares on each side of this equation so we'll have minus x squared is equal to 8 times 8 which is 64 and basically in here our x squared is uh, minus 64 or we know we can write our minus 1 as i squared which will be 64 times i squared so now we're gonna do the square root on each side so x squared is equal to square root of 64 times i squared and if we do that what we get uh, for x will be the absolute value of x is equal to 64 i squared which will be 8 i we know when we have absolute value of something equal to a we will have to answer x can be a and x can be minus a so we have the same scenario in here our x can be 8 i or our x can be minus 8 i so two answers for this question hope you guys find this helpful let me know if you have any questions or any other solutions to solve this one you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one